Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Lethal Homecoming, Episode 19, which originally streamed live on Twitch. And I'm going to show you these options. So McGrath here, his hero bonus is four morale for everybody, which is not bad, but it's not amazing. It's not amazing like... Um, Marquetta's, which is 15 stamina for everybody. That's much, much stronger. Or Ken's, which is only 5 health, but still that's pretty good. Uh, so, we don't, I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is there's a possibility we don't keep him on for very long. Um, Sira here has a really bad hero bonus, which is offers encouragement. I have no interest in that hero bonus, so likely she's going to get the axe when I have the ability to replace her doing medicine. Uh, and then Fisher's bonus is max stamina, plus 10. It's not bad. So I could teach one of them, but the problem is Fisher uh, consumes more food per day and wastes food occasionally. Uh, so both of them are like, not perfectly ideal, and therefore, um, hey, Mick, if you, were serious about letting you know, maybe we don't you invest in them now. I can do that. All right, so here's the Wilkerson stashes. Mickey told us where his stashes are. He's trying to turn a new leaf. So let's go, let's go get them. I'm still gonna take the Miragra even though there's not a lot of trunk space. And I think I'm going to clear an infestation on my way over. I'll put a timer on this. But it looks like you guys want me to teach it to someone that I've not yet recruited. Change up the roster a little bit. Aim for the most ideal roster, I'm assuming. Were part of God's plan. I'd like to have words with him. Hey Marzen, welcome to the stream. Right, I need a reminder. What is Marathon and Assault. Okay. I'm just trying to hit the infestations before they grow. It looks okay, but we can't actually secure the place as long as that plague heart is nearby. I can hear the screamer, but I don't see him. It's like in this back room there. Oh, there he is. I don't have the refire bow. So there's an upgraded crossbow that I may be able to buy or quest for at some point. Uh, I'm just going to come back once the horde that got attracted to that Screamer um, pisses off. Now that the Screamer's dead, it'll be not as hard for me to kill the rest later on. But there's a, there's a rapid fire crossbow with a 10 round magazine that you could unlock a little bit later. It has a lot more gravity drop for its shots, but it would have allowed me to shoot the glass out and then shoot the screamer, rather than to have to wait for the screamer to scream, which is not ideal. The echo auto, or like, I forget what it's called, but it's one of those echo weapons. Let's hope this is the place I'm looking for. An old family photo of him, of, uh, well, there'll be a VO line. That's weird. Why would somebody keep an old photograph in a supply stash? Mickey said he had brothers. I wonder if that's who these two guys are. Hey, Mickey. I found something you might want to see. Where are you? I'm down at the bar in Spencer's Mill. Come on by. We got plenty of open tables. All right. Add it to someone yet to be recruited. Got it. Now. Here's another question. 
Should I make it a priority to shuffle up the roster? Yes or no? So what I mean by that is to start to try to recruit people that might be able to replace the ones that I'm less enthused about. It will likely take a lot of time and effort, but I'm happy to do it if you guys think it's uh, a worthy goal. That was noisy. The service here is pretty shitty, but you can stay as long as you like. Well, shit. Where the hell did you find this? That, that there's my little brother, Eli. He, uh, he died. Back around the time everything went to hell. I'm sorry to hear that. Who's the other guy? That's Jacob Ritter. Kind of a dipshit. But Eli sure liked him. Ritter? Like Lily Ritter? That network lady you've been talking to on the radio? Yeah, she used to live around here. Jacob was her older brother. He and Eli... Well, they tried to keep it quiet for all kinds of reasons, but... Everybody knew. None of us made it easy on him. That's for sure. It's nice to see him happy like this. Hey, this old photo gives me an idea. Come here, will you? I know something that might get Lily to talk to me. Wanna help me out? Good call. I'll mark where we're headed on your map. All right. Looks like you guys will want me to shuffle up the roster. I'll do, I'll start. Whoa, what did he just do? front somersault over the over the car here so I'll uh, wrap up helping Mickey and then try to do some recruiting we just got hit hard so, by what's the, big plan? the daily tax Eli of food once that Lily's got it's some not that rare bad though. disease she manages all right as long as she's got some real specific meds Joe thought it'd be funny to hide a bunch of what she needed, in case we needed leverage. I know, it was a shitty thing to do. Job was always crafty like that, and, well, I just went along with it. I can hear you, you know, silently judging me, you know. Mm -hmm. Believe me, you ain't thinking anything that I ain't thought already. Time to start searching. I have to say, I'm not entirely on board. I know it don't look like much. That's the point. Alright. So, for funsies, they mm. hid medicine that Lily Ritter needs to survive for leverage over her because they were terrible people. But here he is! Expired prednisone. Hey. I found it. You sure? Uh, let me take a look. Hell yeah. Maybe now Lily will give me the time of day. Lily, you out there? It's Mickey again. I'm tired of this game, Mickey. I found this old photo of Eli and Jacob. Thought you might want to take a look. You called me because of a photograph? Well, I also might just have stumbled across a big stash of prednisone. Barely even expired. Now what do you say? Am I worth your time? All right, Mickey. Now you have my attention. I have someone in town who's coming back my way soon. I'll send you a meat location. But don't you make me regret this, Mickey Wilkerson. Understood? Uh, yeah. I mean, yes, ma'am. All right, so now I have to deliver the photograph and the prednisone to a network agent, and then I should be done. Yeah, Lily Ritter has lupus, and there are uh, voice lines early on. Just think, 
another life. I want to interrupt. Ellie and I could have been, well, family. These days, I don't have much of that left. Heads up. Over here. Lady, what are you doing with that? There you go. That is one yeah, long rifle. Yeah, you might come by. Lily says you've got a delivery for her. Damn straight. We got some of Lily's meds. I figure this must be hard to track down these days. And you'd be right. So what's the catch? Ain't no catch. I'm just trying to do the right thing for once in my damn life. We also found this old picture of her brother. I promise. I'll get you a copy real soon. I figure Isby's gotta know how to do that. All right. Well, I'll make sure Lily gets the medicine. I guess maybe you Wilkerson's aren't all bad. Yeah, thanks. Later. Yeah? What are you looking at? I'm thinking you're not half as tough as you act. Uh, do me a favor, all right? You didn't see any of that. Got it? People start thinking I've gone soft. This valley's gonna go straight Well, better her than me. Sure. Here's a little something for your trouble. See you later. Oh, Jesus! Yep. Yep, I'm leaving. No, get off my hood. Sploot. Double sploot. And I'm now a hero. <laughs> the hero of Canton. The man they call McGrath. Okay, it doesn't quite work, but. Does running over NPCs hurt them? Um, he has plot armor, so. No. That and. No matter how hard I would hit him with a vehicle, it's still better than getting shredded to death by a feral. The death claws of State of Decay. Uh, so you all want me to try to recruit. Try to recruit new people. Uh, in order to do that, I need to radio around and see who wants to be found. It's awfully quiet today. Anyone on the other end out there? And there's another infestation for me to deal with. Naomi and the Gleaners. Alright. Let's take a look. McGrath is literally thinking to himself, hey, maybe we can recruit one of them. Love it. We are of the same mind. There's oh, yeah. Dev, who can sew. His name is Devdun Dahanayaki. Good to see ya. Oh, what What's do they up? have to trade? What have you got to trade? Okay. Not a whole lot. Oh, but yeah, I do have this uh, Prepper AK, which is a Mega Mag, 75 Mag AK. Uh, then there's Naomi. Let's learn about her. She has some sort of like health problem where she doesn't have the standard 100 health. She's a blank slate with almost no skills, but she's got, you know, some health issues. Hey, and then Pet. I almost missed you. Pet here is an actor or actress. Her name is Alaska Kirkpatrick. All right. Well, I wouldn't say that any of them are. Deb is probably the most attractive of the three. Sewing is actually a pretty good quirk trait. It gives you uh, extra health and extra inventory space. Um, yeah, that's not terrible. Uh, let's also do the Trader Friends with Benefits, because that might offer me up a recruit as well. You never know. Territory is a bad Can you slow all the straps into clothing? No. Well, yes, actually. But, like, 
you don't actually do the sewing. This person with the sewing skill does. And uh, you just benefit magically. Everyone does. It's weird. So for me to do this quest, I have to switch to Lindsay, our leader. It's a leader quest only. I uh, forgot to bring the backpacks for sale, but I'll do that uh, next. Now that I have the Haven device, I don't need to switch to guns for the people that are like in the base, because obviously we're not going to get a siege, but old habits die hard and I'm going to do that anyway. So they want three first aid kits. I have one first aid kit, so I'm gonna have to go on a bit of a trade run. No, I'm not. Okay, well, time to explore the map a little bit, time to drive around a little bit, and uh, try to buy some. This is seriously too heavy. Try to buy some uh, first aid kits so that we can make friends with and Spider. We're all done here. The Trade Depot also just got built, and that's something that I'm going to want to take advantage of immediately. So before I start to do this trade run, um, let me call in a Materials Trader. So the way it works is Call for Traders is now an option that I have a trade post built, and I can say, hey, I want a Materials Trader, and they'll show up. And yeah, I'm going to call in a medical trader after stuff. the materials trader. Hey Santos, it's Alexis. We have a problem. Remember the folks who moved out of that farmhouse a while back? They just ran into some serious car trouble right outside of Danforth. I feel me. That is not a good place to be stranded. Why didn't they call me? Never mind. I suppose I know the answer to that. Back in the day, you were the guy to see about cars. I figured you could find the part they needed. I do know a good place to search down in Marshall, but that area is a little beyond my abilities right now. Thankfully, I still have a friend or two left in the valley who can help out. That's good. Tell them to find me at our usual meetup spot outside Marshall. All right, the materials trader is here, or arriving. The reason I called the materials trader in first, I need to build hydroponics to be able to feed my population. Like, dire need to Wanna do make it. a trade? Sure, I guess so. And they have a CNC mill, utilities crafts, hand drill pests. Okay, so they don't really have any mods that I want, but the materials I definitely need. You want to make a trade? Okay. Let's see what's up for trade, eh? Sure, I guess so. All right, so with those new materials, I'm going to make hydroponics. And if I had a little bit more materials, how many more? Oh, uh, okay, not a little bit. If I had a bunch more materials, I could make another hydroponics. So hydroponics is probably the best way to feed yourself, especially on lethal. And I intend to have two of them. But this materials trader is now dry. Nikki, this is Lily. I got your delivery. The medicine is... Well, it's appreciated. But this picture... Where did you find this? A buddy of mine found it in one of our old drop spots in the woods. I'm guessing Eli put it there for safekeeping before... You know... Anyway, uh, you're welcome. Take care. You too, Mickey. So that conversation that you were just privy to is more or less about the first game. Uh, Mickey and all the other Wilkerson's Jeez, were really terrible human beings. Let's see what's up for and he's trying to make up for past so. 
uh, transgressions. I think I'm gonna do behind the fence. So the Haven device will kill a feral. See that feral there? He's gonna explode, but it takes a minute and he might do some damage before he, he blows up. Did I scar uh, scrapping things for the forge? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've already done a whole lot of scrapping, so I've got 1,100 parts. Um, all right, so what was I gonna do? I was going to... Fucking A! Oh, wow. They just delivered a nice handgun? Yeah, honestly, a pretty nice handgun, just for free. I'm going to make a bulk cure here and sell this to this trader so I have money enough to call in a meds trader and uh, maybe buy some med kits. Let's see what's up for trade, eh? Yeah, why not? So then I can dismiss this guy by calling on the radio, call for traders. Let's call for meds. We have plenty of trade goods here. Any takers? Come on by. Um, no response yet. Okay, interesting. What? No one answered the radio? Anybody want to make Let me a try deal? that again. We have cool stuff to trade. As a chance for fail? I guess so. I've never failed at that before. Okay, I'll do that later then. Uh, so I guess that means I am going on a little bit of a road trip. Because no one's answering the radio. Perhaps it's because I intercepted the materials trader before he got to where he was intended to go and he like bugged out or something i could probably log out log in but i'm just gonna go on a road trip to see what there is to buy anyway yeah it should replace the oldest one but clearly it did not All right. another thing i could do is to assess if i'm going to recruit anyone from these other enclaves when i go to drive out to trade with them oh so here's a great example get back into the haven radius, have these barrels just explode. So they live, they live pretty long, especially given how fast they move, but they'll eventually just go pop. There's one, and there's two. Alright, so what I'm planning on doing is uh, traveling out to these enclaves to see if there's any uh, med kits for me to buy, and uh, if they have any recruits that would be good and fit, given their skills. So, these guys provide experience bonus, which is a pretty good uh, enclave bonus. This guy constructs. Nice to see you this guy's name is Million. He's an auto mechanic. You're still on your feet. And this one is also an auto mechanic. Oh, hey. uh, they're pretty good. Business? Sounds good. Ooh, materials. Don't mind if I do. They're pretty good. Uh, now I don't think I have an auto mechanic in my group. No, I don't have an auto mechanic in my group, so I could benefit hey, from an auto mechanic. Hello, and Marquez McMillan named Million. So there's Million and You're still Korea. Your feet. And they're both pretty comparable to one another. They're both uh, relatively the same amount of skill. They're probably a better choice than Rai. I don't really need construction. Auto mechanics. So the benefit of auto mechanics is it would make my fuel efficiency go up. 
my the sounds that my cars make go down, which means they're a little bit stealthier, and then also reduce the cost of making repair kits. And if I built, this is a big if, but if I built a auto mechanic um, post, I could also craft upgrade kits for cars. Uh, so yeah, let me um, let me write that down somewhere because I'm gonna need to keep track of this. Uh, so this is the Ford operators have. Yeah, let me. I'll write this down in the in my notes here. The Ford operators have. Auto mechanics. So both of these auto mechanics are viable recruits, which is why I'm writing it down. All right, next stop will be. All right, the abandoned soldiers here only have one pop in their enclave. Uh, Trumbull guardians, that would be Ray. Let's check the abandoned soldiers. I don't. My guess is, I'm not going to want to re recruit any of them. Because if they only had one member left, my guess is uh, I didn't want them anyway. But I'll double check. Is their benefit worth disbanding them? Well, that's that'll be for you to decide. What I'm going to do is uh, come up with a roster of people that could join, and then have you pick whether or not you think it's worth disbanding them. The experience bonus is really nice, don't get me wrong, but having a really good cast of people in our own community is also a really strong benefit as well. Like zombies outside this guy's house that I definitely just dragged towards him. I could use a hand over here. Can you spare someone? The gleaners who I radioed and met recently are asking for bullets. Oh hey. And that would allow me to recruit one of them for free. So this guy is an engineer. I have no need for an engineer. Uh, but what I do want to do is check to make sure that he doesn't have um med kits for sale. I don't it's good think he to see will. You. Uh, it would probably only Let's be explosives. Sounds good. No, he has bullets. I'll buy that in just a sec. Uh, the engineer is someone that uh, can make suppressors and the like, but they can't make the best quality suppressors. Let's see what's up for so in my opinion, day. they're just like generally not worth recruiting. Mm. All right, let me head over to the gleaners now. I'm headed for you. Now, we did say that uh, Dev might be a good recruit because he knew compu... What did he know? He knew... Who makes the best suppressors? Uh, you have to buy them. You can't make them. The handmade suppressors and, and muzzle brakes are not as good as the advanced and professional quality ones that you have to only buy. Dev had sewing. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thank you for remembering. And delivering these bullets to Dev will allow me to recruit him for free. So, let me write a quick poll. Should I recruit from Gleaners or forward ops. Yes, recruit dev, the sewer. Um, sewing person, I'm going to call him. And yes, recruit an auto mechanic from forward ops. Or I could do both. I could do both because they'd be free. Uh, so let me let me revise this one more time. Uh, yes, recruit both. There. Or hold on, I'm a little slow tonight. No, don't recruit either. Would be the the last choice. Okay, so there we go. We have the full selection there. I'll put a timer on that, and uh, you can vote.
Who would they replace? Why are you um, helping these folks? Maybe Sira the Doctor? Or perhaps McGrath or Fisher, who are the two soldiers that don't have special skills yet. Um, McGrath, his hero bonus is a little lackluster, and the soldier likes to eat a lot of food. So that's why we would re replace them. We don't really need, need, need someone that knows medicine. It's a nice benefit, but it's not uh, required. So replacing Sira, who has a terrible hero bonus, is also a pretty viable possibility as well. Because you can stay in the clinic and rest up, and I can make plague cure without um, without Sira. Hey there, make yourself at home. I'm gonna wait for Dev to clear these guys out. So the Glanners are giving me bed and breakfast, uh, which is definitely not a Enclave bonus I'm going to need. Uh, bed and breakfast gives me food and extra beds, but I have food and extra. I have all the foods and beds I need in the colony already, so it's not that beneficial. I am buying from him. Alright. Looks like you guys want me to recruit both. Good to see ya. So there's Dev. Hey buddy. I almost Pat. Missed you. So acting. Uh, let, let me explain. I'm so if I'm recruiting from this uh enclave, I want you to know all that they do. So that you can make an informed decision. So sewing gives you one max item stack for the whole community. 10 max health for the whole community, and knowledge of craftsmanship. Uh, knowledge of craftsmanship allows you to make um, some extra bolts and the like. Uh, I'm going to hide a second because there's a huge swarm coming by. So, yes, you guys want me to recruit. So, from, from gleaners, who should I recruit? Sewing, acting, and what was the last one? I'm not helping them with this. Oh, apparently I am. Wow, there's a lot of armored zombies in this group. Sewing, acting, and blank. Oh, um, three s slot, but low HP. So here is the three options. So sewing, as I was saying, gives you extra stack, gives you extra health, and then get, makes you, uh, gives you the ability to like craft extra bolts and the like. Uh, acting. Let me look up acting. Acting gives you extra standing rewards and influence gains. Standing rewards is like rep. Influence is currency, and then pop. Culture and knowledge, which I think helps the uh, the lounge. Let me let me double check that. Yeah, it helps you with the lounge. It increases the benefit of uh, a level three lounge. And currently, I have a level one lounge, not even a level two lounge, so not amazing. None of them is a mechanic. Uh, yeah, the the other enclave, I'm going to allow you to, to vote on who I recruit from the forward operators. Uh, whether it is one of the two auto mechanics or the third guy, the craftsman. <laughs> 
Well, I'll probably just put the mechanics because I don't want the craftsman. Hey, how's life treating you? Hey, how's it going? Let's see what's up for trade, eh? Sure. Uh, I think it's sewing it's is all the way, so let me recruit him. You're better than those guys. Join us instead. And let's take a look at him. We've got a new face Here's nearby. Dev. Uh, prefers the sidelines yeah, for lower it. standing rewards. Isn't terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. I'm going to bring him back to base. Who should we recruit from forward ops? There was Million in Korea. I have no idea what the difference is. Uh, if you want to wait to vote, that's fine. I'm going to get there first and show them off, or you can vote early. I, it's up to you. But I will be driving there. Hey, Damien. Thanks for the, uh, the sub. And I'll be switching to this guy to figure out so what his hero guard. bonus is. Cat, and he just smacks me. Like flinching. Bam! My head slams into the undercarriage. <laughs> You'd think that'd make me hate cats, but... Well, instead I was afraid of parked cars until I was 12. He just revealed a little bit of his, um... Oh, he's afraid of everything. Often the target of, of when conflict occurs. Yep. Oh, hey. A friendly face. Great. Sup, Dev guy? is a loser. Oh, well. I'm going to have you guys vote on if we're getting rid of Dev or not. Oh, hey. Um. The way. Wait, I haven't done friends. Oh, yeah, no, no, I didn't do that, did I? I have to stay on her to be able to do the, the quest. Okay, never mind, I'm not switching. Hope you don't get too tired. Let me see if I can call in the uh, med person now. We have plenty of trade goods here. Any takers? Come on by. No, I don't think they're showing up again. <sighs> nope. All right. I can't force them to show. Let's go see what they are. One more building project off the list. His hero bonus is probably mending plus five health. Yes. I, I sort of figured that that would be the most likely scenario. All right, let's go see Korea and Million. So you can make a more informed decision here. So here's Million. 116 health, 130 stamina. Um, auto mechanics, shooting, fighting. So just to note, when you level up stamina, you gain more... more. When you level up car, uh, your cardio, you gain more stamina. When you level up fighting, you gain more health. And then here is Good Korea. So it looks to me like Korea has a little bit more health than... And a little bit more stamina than million. Nice but see. because I can't see their traits, uh, one of them could be a real loser, and I wouldn't know it. 
So I'm going to re-put up this, uh, this poll here, and you guys can pick who I recruit. But uh, while you vote on that, I'm going to head over to Ray Ray and see if he has a med kit for me to buy. Yeah, Million has more stamina, Korea has more health. Um, if I take out the nearest plague heart, this might clear up. They're pretty equivalent. They're they're very, very equivalent, and it's just up to you who you want. They're equivalent until, like, I get to learn their traits. Uh, one of them could really be terrible. Wanting to, like, fight everyone all the time or something like that. I just, w I wouldn't know. I don't get to know. Can I recruit both and remove the weaker one? No, I cannot. You can pick one or the other, but not both. There's some special circumstances if you have particularly it's low pop. Like if a bunch of your head. people died off, Sounds about right. that the game might offer you the chance to um, to recruit a the remainder of an enclave or an entire enclave, but my population isn't low, so it's not going to allow me to do that. And Ray did not have any medkits. I could check med scientists, but they're kind of far away. I might just have to have the trader opportunity pass. I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, take advantage of it. So let me get back over to Million in Korea. Someone needs to tie break here, I think. <laughs> Got to have some sort of uh, defended advancer. I'll flip a coin if we don't. Can I create med kits with my med center? Um, yeah, I can actually. I don't know why I didn't think of that. So thanks. I I totally forgot that I had a doctor in the house. Hey, good to see you again. Is Korea a girl now? Civilian. This yeah, is Million. Marquez McMillan. Ahead, and then this is Korea. His name is Marcos Korea. All right. Like Korea has one. Make sure they don't have anything I want to buy. They don't. Bye bye, Ford operators. And let's see what we got. Avoids getting into conflicts. Less food consumed per day. Yes. Looks real good. Looks real good. You guys made a good choice there. Hopefully he doesn't reveal, like, some terrible history that would be bad. I just don't want him to talk to me. Like, don't speak to me, dude, because I don't want you to reveal that, like, you have, I don't know, some sort of physical disability rendering you worth useless in a zombie apocalypse. So, uh, yeah. Nice. He's going to be a Nazi or something. He's going to be secretly a zombie. That's what I'm hoping he isn't. Um... So with an auto mechanic, another benefit is here in the workshop. See the cost part, so I'm in the way. See the cost part for that? That used to be 100, so it's cheaper to make uh, repair kits now. Which is nice. And then I, I'm also making a lot more light bolts. It used to be 45, we now make 60. But that's actually because uh -huh. of the sewer, I think. You want something? Uh-huh. Uh, so before okay, I dismiss him, I have a proposal for you. Let's meet. It's a red talent supply. Uh, before I dismiss Mr. Marcos or whatever his name is. Oh man, I have so many parts. Hold on. Fix this. I want to give him like a proper gun. I don't think I have a spare backpack for him, but at least I can give him a gun. I'm probably going to switch to him and start leveling him up, actually. So I'm just going to leave the gun on me. 
And I do have the three med kits, so I'm gonna head over and deliver them oh, hey, that's my before I switch off of uh, uh -huh. my leader. Alright, so he's armed. Oops, wrong crossbow. And I'm gonna go deliver my med kits now. Oops, all of them. That's a lot of stuff. So this is to friends with benefits. And you uh -huh. be careful stay out here. there. Should I exile Dev or wait to see his hero bonus? Exile, wait. Alright, what do you think? What are we doing with Dev, the man that is afraid of everything? We kicking him out now or? Seeing if he might still be useful at a later date. And obviously I would exile after I deliver these med kits, like when I get back home. I'm here. What's the plan? I don't want to do this quest right now. I am just going to drive away. Sorry, Ray didn't come through. I am uh, driving away. <laughs> yep. Sorry, Alexis Carter. I'm thinking this should be an outpost for us. So if I want to clear more play cards, it's really useful. Oh boy, uh, it's really useful to befriend enclaves like this that will help me destroy play cards uh, that I can have them come in v via the radio. Great noise brought them right to me. Ooh, regenerator can sell too. So who, who's the man to talk to? Wow, look at that dude's stats! Holy moly, he's a tank. Apparently this is not on the PS4. No, it wouldn't be. It's a Microsoft Games exclusive, so Xbox and, uh, and PC only. All right. Oh, I'm going to leave this up a little bit longer than the timer because it's nearly tied. Who am I talking to? Hey so here's Jens, an absolute. How are you? Beefcake. Uh, Ali Hall, who knows sports trivia. Not that helpful. And then their leader, or the person that wanted. Who called me in here? What the hell is going on? I think they're all. Okay, there we go. Spider. Oh God, your name is Spider. Now uh, let's. Uh, Hand over the first aid kits. And Spider here is a blank slate with some combat so skills. Up on the radio when you're ready to use us. And uh, I do believe that they are play cart fighters. Let me double check. That wasn't easy, but we made a strong ally. We'll need each other in the days ahead. No, it's not telling me yet. Yep, they're plague part uh plague heart fighters. That would be really useful. Why are we considering exiling Dev? Uh, because he's useless. I recruited him and he has a bunch of negative traits. He's still a recruit. That's no ordinary thing.
Well, we made a good ally here. Uh, let me go ahead and hey, sell some stuff, though, too. I don't need the generator or the booze. Might as well just keep looting. There's no room for that. I'm going to sell the note and the firecracker. Thank you for watching State of Decay 2 Lethal Homecoming, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 5th. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to chat about State of Decay 2 in real time, possibly play some multiplayer or catch me streaming on Discord, Rodamont.com and the description of the video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.